I think it's pretty clear that Planet Zoo is entering its last cycle of life. Now, while we have waited and done the same jig over and over again for 16 different times for DLCs and updates and anniversary animals, we are slowly but surely entering the age where Planet Zoo can be finally settled down, got a wife, got children, settled down to the ranch and had, like, a, where am I going with this? Regardless, Planet Zoo has confirmed that there is one more DLC on the horizon, and what happens after that? I don't really know. But there is still a ton of animals out there that Planet Zoo desperately needs. So let's go through them all and talk about what my ideal animals would be for 2024. Thank you all so much for stopping by once again as we make another video kind of talking about my ideal animals for Planet Zoo to end on with these DLC cycles. And now, while people might get angry at me for suggesting even the thought that Planet Zoo is going to come to an end, let's look at Zoo Tycoon 2. They still have a lovely community and the game ended like 20 years ago or something. And plus, we have a robustus modding community, so it's going to be just fantastic going forward. Not only because of what Planet Zoo and Frontier has given us, but also because of what the community gives back to you all. So without further ado, let's talk about the last animals we could expect for Frontier to give us. Now, I think it's pretty obvious that I am a huge South America fan. South American sections are probably some of my favorite in zoos just because they're so beautiful. They're so tropical. They are so Kawadi Mundi. That is number one. It doesn't matter what kind of Kawadi Mundi that we get. Any Kawadi Mundi is fine by me. But these guys are so cool. If you have no idea what a Kawadi Mundi is, uh, they're otherwise known as Kawati. Uh, they are just this beautiful, beautiful little creature, and they are found all over South America, Central America, and maybe a little bit of North America, too. I think they might range into Canada. Not Canada. Oh, Jesus. They might range into, like, you know, like the southern states like Texas, Arizona, and stuff like that. But they are just a fantastic little animal. They are related to the raccoon, which I think is super cool, and they are an arboreal species. That is something you'll notice a lot with the animals that I care a lot about, is that they are not just, like, you know, your classic hoofstock or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... I really do love animals that provide a bit of a challenge for when you build for them. And animals that climb or deep dive are definitely some of those. So, Kawadi Mundi, number one. Number two, I think, is an animal that fits into the aquatic section of that very much. It is the walrus. What specific kind of walrus we get? I bet Planet Zoo would just give us normal walrus and be done with it, but there's a whole bunch of different, like, subspecies and stuff like that. There's Pacific, there's Atlantic walrus. They're just a very iconic species, and I think everyone is desperately jumping at the gun for them. Of course, how could you not? They are this incredible-looking animal. When I saw them in California, they are the most charismatic animals out there. They are huge. They are chunky, kind of like myself. Listen, hey, hey. I wear it with pride. And so do the walrus. They are just this very beautiful creature. And I think that Planet Zoo, especially with their current animation team, whoever they have laid off, would be great at making this animal really stand out. From there, I think that another semi-aquatic animal that might be pretty cool is the pelican. Again, I'm going very broad with these animals because it really doesn't matter to me as someone who enjoys mods that whatever animal we get, as long as it fits kind of like the quote-unquote rig, it's going to be so beneficial to so many other people because once we get one type of animal, we can get them all. Especially with the pelican, whether it's a brown pelican, Australian white, pink-backed, whatever pelican you choose would be a pelican I would be there for. They're a beautiful animal. They are perfect for, like, your large lakes, open fields, and stuff like that. Uh, especially if you have, like, a safari park or something like that. They mix very well with flamingos. I could see them getting interspecies enrichment with the um, greater flamingo, which I think would be kind of cool. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a very cool animal. I know a lot of the Planet Zoo community desperately wants more birds. And the pelican, I think, would be one of the best ones to get, especially just because they're so unique. I feel like while I would love a duck in particular, uh, the swan rig pretty much fills that niche. But a pelican would be an extremely unique addition that I think a lot of the Planet Zoo community would appreciate a lot more, especially we get like an exotic pelican, kind of like, you know, the pinkback pelican or something like that, an African pelican, if you may. Uh, I think that'd be a very awesome thing to have. 
from there, I'm going to say tree kangaroo. Again, another arboreal species in this case. Tree kangaroos have grown to be one of my personal favorites. My local zoo even has a few, which are the most adorable looking creatures ever. And I think that this game won't be complete without them. Now, this is again another case of... Listen, we don't have a proper rig for a tree kangaroo as modders. I would want it done right. And by being done right, it needs to be done from Frontier. Of course, if we don't have like, you know, another polar bear situation like that or something like that. But I really don't know. The tree kangaroo is one of my favorite marsupials ever because they're just a kangaroo, but they can climb on trees. They can climb on branches and stuff like that. I think that is stellar. I think that is fantastic right there. Tree kangaroos are probably some of my favorite animals to watch in zoos because while they aren't sleeping all the time, uh, they're relatively, you know, eepy little creatures. But when they are hopping from branch to branch, their locomotion is so cool. It is just one of the coolest things to watch. And they provide a really, really unique conservation story in themselves because I believe, if not all of them, are endangered. So whether we get the Lumholtz's tree kangaroo, whether we get the Goodfellows, or the best one, the Matchy's tree kangaroo, please, please, if there's a tree kangaroo, let it be the Matchy's. Don't let the Europeans win. I'm kidding, of course. I don't care which one we get, just as long as we get one. If we don't, I might cry. Next one on our list is the Howler Monkey. Again, a New World Monkey, which I think we are extremely lacking in. We only currently have the Capuchin Monkey, which, you know, it's a great monkey. It has its purpose, but I can only listen to its infernal vocalizations for much longer. I'd prefer an animal vocalization that actually sounds kind of cool, like the Black Howler Monkey. These guys are extremely common all over the United States, and I believe they're also common extremely over there in Europe and South America and zoos and stuff like that. But they are just an iconic monkey. Howler monkeys have a very unique vocalization, which really does, like, it's one of Frontier's greatest strong suits, the sound design, which I think is just super awesome so if we are able to get a new world primate it would definitely be the howler monkey i would love to see something like that maybe a spider monkey if people really really want that i guess but i think howler monkeys just are so much cooler they're so much more pretty and also i don't know they're, they're just some of my favorites i i love a good howler now that is five animals that i would love to see in planet zoo in 2024 but i know everyone's wish list looks completely different so i am so curious to hear what would make this game complete in your eyes? What would this game need in order to be your perfect zoo game? Let me know in the comments down below. I am so interested to hear what all of you guys have to say. And without further ado, I want to thank you guys one last time for stopping by. If you guys did enjoy this video, it's so great to be back in like the saddle of things with like these speculation videos. I don't know. I love it. But let me know if you guys did enjoy this video. I can't wait to see all of your responses. Take care. And I hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Take care and goodbye.